You know, I've been sitting here for the last hour watching my two older sons play chess. They do this all the time, going at it, competing, trying to cheat each other. Cheating ain't going to get you nowhere. It ain't funny. But, you know, I just got out of a conversation with um, a friend, a leader. He's making a lot of money, who's blessed, who has a multi, multi million dollar company. And I also seen a video today of somebody actually speaking. And this is going to be real quick. Why would you move your queen right in front of the pawn? You're going to take it. Um, but anyway, you know, we had um, this conversation and the, the topic that came up was, you know, what is a real job? You know, and this is interesting because I actually experienced this myself. But, you know, if we keep on discouraging the youth, which is supposed to be the future. I don't know where we're going to be at in the next 20, 25 years, uh, maybe even the next five years, to be honest with you. But people understand when, when there's a dream or there's something good inside of your children or the, gen the generation up under you, you support them because, you know, you are their strength and they are the future. And we need to understand as long as we have entrepreneurs who are profiting, that's where our jobs come from. So <laughs> there's no business that is um, hiring people that's not profiting. So when you have these businesses that's been built by somebody who believed in this idea before it ever even manifested, you know, that's where it comes from. So we need to start to support that because that's what actually yeah. builds the economy and gives people their confidence. I know it kind of sound weird, might be a little lame, but it's the truth. And it's, it's really one of those topics that's um, tearing down the gift that, that people have, the talents that people have, because people no longer want to build. And when people have no answers for the kids, the first thing they say is go get an education. But your best education is going to be putting yourself around somebody who's successful at what you want to be successful in. You know, so, uh, I mean, man, just stop tearing down the next generation and promote their gifts and their dreams because what? that's what creates more jobs. Don't cheat, man. Don't cheat. What that's going to do for you? You losing. You got to take that. It's kind of ironic that I'm watching them play chess and trying to teach these dudes at the same time we I'm talking about this, but make sure that we encourage the next generation. You know, and if you got a friend or somebody who's trying to build businesses from nothing, that is very hard, man. I mean, every businessman who's been through it will tell you that. You know, I won't be the only one. But for us to discourage anybody who's trying to build an empire, come on, man. We don't need that. And then we make excuses saying a white man tearing us down or saying, you know, um, or making excuses for why we don't get to the, a certain plateau. Come on, man. We can do better than this. For real. Man, you getting punished. You getting punished, Jerry.